I mean, I thought obviously a couple mistakes at the start. And again, the, you know, the frustrating thing about the stretch is we feel like it, it, it hasn't been systematic breakdowns. It's been just human error. And, you know, you deal with those once in a while when it feel like it, it keeps happening. We, we just got to find a way to avoid the big mistake. You know, we, we bobble puck on the opening face off, spot them one early, um, you know, feel like we get right back in it. They get another one, and now we're chasing. You know, we're down three one, and honestly, the feel after the first pier was pretty good in the room. You know, and, and we talked about. It. I said, guys, this is probably the type of way it's going to have to be to get out of it. Loved this in the second. Thought we played a really good game. Um, and I thought in third period it was anyone's game. You know, it, we felt like both teams were playing well defensively, blocking shots, selling out. You know, felt like it was one of those that probably was bound should have been in, in overtime where both teams get a point. Um, you know, get a big penalty kill in the third and. Unfortunately, have to go back to the kill again, and that's usually what happens in those types of games. You know, you usually get one kill, and in the second one's tough to get. And you know, unfortunately for us, they they bang one in, and that's that's hockey. For the longest time in the third period, you guys were stuck on one recorded shot on net. Would you have liked to have seen a more aggressive play from your forwards? Sure. I mean, I I think it's you know it's easy to just look at the shots and say, hey, we want we want to throw pucks in the net, you know, uh, on the flip side, they do a really good job. I mean, that's what they're known for. They do a good job with sticks and lanes. They do a good job of keeping you the outside. Uh, you know, from our perspective, we knew they were, it's what we've seen before. They bottle up in a tie game. They bottle up in an up game. They're just trying to defend and, you know, take what you give them. And, and unfortunately for us, we, we had a turnover out of offense's own play um, on a play that we just can't afford to make, which led to a breakaway, which led to a, a penalty and, and ultimately their goal. Yeah, it's momentum. It's no different than a, than a big penalty kill or a five-on-three kill. Uh, you know, you felt like after that you, we were going to get ourselves back in the hockey game, which we did. Um, so, yeah, it was a big save by Rupp. Um Record against the South Division as a, as a whole um, is not good. How do you guys turn that around, especially knowing that you've got the three games with Florida? Yeah, I mean, bottom line, the record against the South Division is 100% unacceptable. The record overall is unacceptable. We need to be better. Uh, you know, again, I feel like there's there's stretches where you, where you like things you do, but it's got to be better. You got to find a way to win hockey games, and that's, you know, at the end of the day, you just somebody is got to dig in and, and just find a way to make a play as a group. We got to find a way to to not make mental lapses. Um, you know, as coaches, we need to be better. Um, we need to be better prepared. We need to, to to keep coaching, and we just need to keep getting back to work. I, I don't, you know, that's I, I don't know how to do it any other way. Um, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to get down. We're not going to point fingers. Um, we're going to point thumbs. I'm going to get better. Guys are going to get better. We're going to keep working. Again, this this division's a battle. I mean, it's not like we're playing six, one, seven, two games every night. I mean, they're one goal hockey games. Um, and what you realize from that is, you know, you, you, every detail counts. One mistake or one good play for is the difference every night. Um, we got to find ourselves on the right side of it. After the Florida game, you said the same thing. It wasn't structural. It was more just human error. How, how do you correct? Yeah, and I mean, I think there's some things that, that, that you know, I don't want to blame it all on individuals. There, there's certainly things that we could have done better. You know, I thought in the first period we needed to break the puck out better. Um, you know, and that was structurally, and I thought we adjusted well, and our guys did a better job of that in the second and third. Um, I thought we needed to do a better job of not letting guys behind us. We adjusted. We, we, we took that away for the most part in the second and third. Uh, you know, I think as, as coaches, we need to give guys confidence, confidence and direction. You know, I think anytime a guy makes an error, it's easy to just point your finger at him and get down on him and sit him or not play him or, or blame him. That's not going to help anybody. That's not going to help us. That's not going to help the guys. It's not going to help that player. Um, you know, as a coach, like I said, you need to give him confidence that we believe in him. You need to give him direction how to get better and avoid it the next time. TJ Foster extended his points streak to three games now. What have you seen out of him? He's playing good hockey. Um, you know, that line. Uh, again, they've been scoring consistently for us. We need them to score more. They need to be our best line every night. Um, they need to outdo the other team's top lines, period. Yeah, I was able to get uh, two one-timers off, uh, both good passes, run on my tape, and uh, just put on net, and they both went 5 four. Uh Did you expect that you, would, that you yourself would end up being essentially most of the offense tonight? Uh, not most of the offense, no, but um, you know, it feels good to score. And, Help the team out as much as possible, so uh, they counted me to shoot when I can, and that's what I did. Yeah, my hand's fine. I had, I had been, it's been banged up for a couple months now, so it's just you know I used to take care of it every day. Um, what did South Carolina show you guys tonight? 
um, as far as the way they played that made them difficult to handle? Um, well, especially in the first two periods, you know, we were playing into their system, when, uh, or uh, excuse me, we were playing our system. We didn't switch, so um, you know, their offense is, is you know their top priority, and they're really good at it. So um, you know, they're flying the guys out of the zone, getting odd man chances, and you know, that's when they're capitalizing. Murray's been saying that these these mistakes are not necessarily structural, but they're more individual mistakes. How do you guys go about correcting things like that? Um, you know, they're both they're both structural and both individual. Um, but you know, practice we have practice every day, so you know there's no day to, days off here, and you know we're just trying to get better every day. Um, how frustrating is it knowing that you play in arguably the toughest division in the ECHL, and the record is not too good? Right. Um, well, right now it's uh, I want to say low point, but it's uh, you know we don't want to get any deeper in the standings, so um, you know we're trying to work work uh, on our game every day and trying to get as many points as we can. We need to find a way to win, and uh, we'll start doing that. What's the mood like around the locker room in amongst the players? Uh, well, after games like this, it's hard, you know, but um, before the game, the practice yesterday, before that, um, nothing changed. We're still, you know, we're still ready to go and um, confident on confident how we're going to play. And, you know, we played good. Just a few minor letdowns that led into goals. So, um, you know, after the game like today, it's it's quiet, and, um, you know, it sucks to lose, so.